Mapbox is amazing, all you guys know this, if you don't, try it out. And today I'm going to show you how to use it with G-Layers. So, first you need to do is, uh, let's go to Mapbox.com and create yourself an account there. Um, once you did that, you go to your Mapbox Studio. I'm going to do so. And the first thing you need is your username. You'll find it over here. Just copy it. Go to G-Layers, um, open up the preferences, uh, server profiles, create a new server profile, select the Mapbox API. So first thing, my username, I'm pasting it right here. The next thing we need is our access token. You find it right there and you can click this button to copy it and go back to my preferences, paste the access token here. Um, that's pretty much it for the first. So you get some standard map IDs here, for example, streets or satellites. If you want to use your own custom map styles, um, let's begin with the classic ones. If you have classic map styles, all you need is this. This is your map ID. So I click copy the map ID back to After Effects. I'm pasting it right here. There we go. That's the custom map style. With your Mapbox Studio styles, it's a bit different. So if you click this, then you see the last part of the URL here. And this is the map ID in this case. So I'm copying this, going back to my prefs, pasting it, and there we go. There we have it. That's it, we can use it. I'm gonna call this map box demo, apply, and we find the map box demo right here. Click create, and there we go, our custom style.